Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, I'm going to delete this QU Media and Amazon video and I'm going to make a different video out of it. I was really excited when I saw this because I was, uh, I'm, you know, I have a decent amount of money invested into this company and I saw this and I was really excited. I was really excited and I had to make a video and I listened to myself make that video after and I said I told myself I sound like an idiot so I decided to remake this video and I, I really do think Amazon's a big deal because Amazon's so big they have so much money they're investing so much money in India and so according to this you know Amazon joins new advertiser on Q U uh, on the Q India, and I also believe that Amazon wants Q India to succeed. I think Amazon's going to uh, invest or uh, is going to give Q India a lot of money because because the media company and they want them to have success. Uh, and Amazon is investing heavily into uh, India because of the sheer amount of people that is in India and you got to look at India as a growing economy I mean right now India is you wouldn't you wouldn't consider India like a super rich economy where there's a lot of people that are wealthy but it will get better over time the economy will get better, will get richer, there's going to be more middle class people created. Because if you look at China, like, I don't know, 30 years ago, there wasn't that many rich people. There was a, there was probably more, there was probably more poverty than there was wealth. But over time it has got, gotten better in China, and now China has a lot of middle class people, and people that can afford you know Teslas and Neo cars and X Ping cars. These are like expensive cars, and people in China can afford them because their businesses like Tesla and Neo can exist in China because China has the population. India will eventually get to the point of China. So it makes sense for Amazon to invest heavily into India because eventually India will be, uh, you know, could be a global powerhouse in the future because of the sheer amount of population that they have. So it's smart for the, uh, in, uh, Amazon to invest into India. And I also believe that Amazon, you know, like right here it says Amazon has... Uh, revealed a $250 million venture fund to invest into India startups and entrepreneur focused on digital digitalization of small and medium sized business and what do you think Q Media is? It's a medium size well not even I think Q Media is a small business that has that's been very successful lately and then you also got to think that Amazon is also, they also have Amazon Prime Video, which is the among the fastest growing streaming service in India. So Amazon Prime Video, right? They need content for that video. So by helping Q India be successful, they can then hire more actors, more staff, more people in general to make high quality videos then which then they can uh, put onto their platform for more content maybe make an exclusive contact exclusive content specifically for the Q India uh, on the Amazon platform so in order to get this access to this video you have to have access to Amazon Prime Video to watch this new content that the Q Media made, or maybe a time exclusive, where you know you can only watch this certain content on on Amazon from made from Q India for maybe the first few months, 
and then eventually it'll go back. Oh, uh, it'll go on to the TV, uh, the TV stations and the free stuff, where uh, you know, Q India can capitalize on making even more money from that content. So, you know, I'm very happy with this this uh, partnership, uh, and you know, with Amazon, I think that is a really big deal. It makes. Q India, one of my high conviction stocks. It makes me confident in its future, and may and uh, you know, so you know, it feels like like a hundred and fifty two million dollars seems very undervalued for Q India as a market cap, especially with you know Amazon being on board. They have Pepsi on board. They have uh, you know. Uh, what's that company called? Uh, we, uh, Ypro, Ypro, and Unilever. You know these are big, big companies. They're not small companies. They're big. These are multi tens of billions of dollars. Pepsi is like a two hundred billion dollar company. Unilever is like a hundred billion dollar company, and. Why Y Pro is like you know thirty or forty billion dollar company. These are very big companies. They're not small companies. They're big, big companies. And Amazon is a one point six six trillion dollar company and a giant. So very, very big partnerships. So you know and Q. U Media is trading at one hundred fifty-two million dollars. If if I didn't own any shares, I would definitely pick up some shares of Q U Media. But I own shares, so I'm not gonna be picking up more shares of Q U Media. Uh, volume today is uh okay. I mean, it's up. It's just the start of the day. It's eight forty-eight, and it's already trading eight hundred and twenty-five thousand. Um. If the stock price, you know, drops because the market is volatile and goes red, you know, drops back down to below 40, maybe 39, 38, I definitely would be buying more shares because I think that, you know, it's a good, uh, you know, buy the dip. I think those are good dip op opportunities, but only if it, only if it drops down to these prices and, you know, on the U.S. side. I, I feel like the company needs to do more, you know, more YouTube video. I mean, they need to contact more um, YouTubers to talk about the company because they need to get more, they need to get the investor interest up because uh, this is a really undervalued company and I feel like they deserve, I feel like, you know, it's a great long-term investment. I don't know about short-term. It sure it could drop another three or four cents. I don't know at the end of the day, but if you think about it long-term, I don't think it matters what price you buy it at. Like, did it matter what price you bought Tesla at? Did it matter you bought Tesla at three hundred dollars or two hundred fifty dollars or? even $400. No, you still made a lot of money at the end of the day because big money pumped it to the moon. And so, you know, if QU Media comes out with a fantastic earnings report, and I think they will, I think the stock will get pumped to the moon. That's my opinion. Only time will tell if I'm right or wrong. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that is it for my video. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this subscribe for future updates and have a great day Bye